Hi friends, in our last video we discussed about the law of demand. We also discussed its assumptions and its exceptions. We saw that the law of demand explains inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded of a commodity. It tells us that the demand for a commodity falls with rise in its price and with a fall in price quantity demanded of a commodity rises. It is explaining us only qualitative qualitative relationships between demand and price of a commodity. It does not explain us to what extent the demand will rise or fall due to the change in its price. It does not explain us quantitative, quantitative relationships between price and quantity demanded of a commodity. So, to what extent the demand will rise or fall down due to change in price of a commodity that can be measured with the help of elasticity of demand. In this video, we are going to start next topic that is elasticity of demand. In this topic, we are going to see what is exactly mean by elasticity of demand? What are the different types of elasticity of demand? Then we are going to see the methods through which the elasticity of demand can be measured. As well as in this topic we are going to learn importance of the elasticity of demand and the determinants of the elasticity of demand. So, it is a very important concept of economics that we are going to learn in this video. Now, as I told you that elasticity of demand measures the extent to which demand rises or falls due to change in its price. Demand for a commodity get affected due to change in price. See, not only the price affects demand, there are many other factors like consumers income, like change in prices of related goods such as complementary goods and substitute goods. These factor can also influence the demand for a commodity. So, there are many factors apart from price to which the quantity demanded of a commodity responds. With a change in price, demand is changing. It means demand of a commodity is responding to the change in price. With a change in consumer's income, demand changing, it means demand of a commodity is responding to the change in consumer's income. So, in short, we can say that elasticity of demand means the degree of responsiveness. Elasticity of demand is what? It is the degree of responsiveness. Elasticity of demand is the degree of responsiveness of quantity demanded to a change in its price or any other factors. Elasticity of demand is what? It is the degree of responsiveness. It means how much the demand of a commodity responds to the change in price or to the change in any other factors on which demand depends. Mainly, we measure the elasticity of demand in respect of price, in respect of consumer's income and in respect of prices of related goods. Yeah, 
फैक्टर्स बाबतीत अपन इलास्टिटी ऑफ डिमांड मोजत आतो देर फोर देर आर थ्री डिफरंट टाइप्स ऑफ इलास्टिटी ऑफ डिमांड विच आर इनकम इलास्टिटी ऑफ डिमांड क्रॉस इलास्टिटी ऑफ डिमांड एंड प्राइस इलास्टिटी ऑफ डिमांड सो स्टूडेंट्स हि डेफिनेशन तुम्हार लक्षा आई अल कि इलास्टिटी ऑफ डिमांड मे का इलास्टिटी ऑफ डिमांड रेफर्स टू द डिग्री ऑफ रिस्पॉन्सिवनेस ऑफ क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड ऑफ अ कमोडिटी टू अ चेंज इन इट्स प्राइस और टू द चेंज इन एनी अदर फैक्टर्स इन सिंपल वर्ड्स वी कैन से दैट इलास्टिटी ऑफ डिमांड इज द एक्सटेंट टू विच डिमांड चेंजेस ड्यू टू चेंज इन इट्स प्राइस or due to change in any other factor so this is the general definition of elasticity of demand in the words of alfred marshall elasticity of demand is great or small elasticity of demand may be great or may be small according to the amount demanded which rises much or little for a given fall in price and quantity demanded falls much or little for a given rise in price so this is the definition of price elasticity of demand so it is clear from the above definition that elasticity of demand is the technical term which describes the responsiveness of change in quantity demanded to fall or rise in its price so there are almost three types of elasticity of demand the first type of elasticity of demand is income elasticity of demand what is mean by income elasticity income elasticity of demand means the degree of responsiveness of change in quantity demanded to a change in the income of consumer other factors including price are remaining constant here we are assuming that all other factors except the price are remaining constant and to the change in consumer's income how much the demand responds that we are going to measure in this income elasticity of demand symbolically income elasticity of demand is expressed here income elasticity of demand is equal to percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in income percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in income symbolically <coughs> percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in income here this sign stands for change in this is also called a delta q stands for original demand y stands for original income delta q stands for change in quantity demanded delta y stands for change in consumers income okay <coughs> here you can see the formula of measuring income elasticity of demand delta q divided by q upon delta y divided by y multiplication madhe anle tala delta q divided by q into y divided by delta y all the demand for all goods doesn't responds in a same way to the change in consumers income sagla vastunchi demand he income madhil change la sarkhya pramanat respond karat asat nahi the degree of responsiveness of quantity demanded of a commodity to the change in consumers income is different 
इन केस ऑफ डिफरंट डिफरंट गुड्स वेगवेगळ्या वस्तूंचा डिग्री ऑफ डिग्री ऑफ रिस्पॉन्सिवनेस वेगवेगळा असतो अकॉर्डिंग टू द डिग्री ऑफ रिस्पॉन्सिवनेस ऑफ क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड ऑफ अ कमोडिटी टू टू द चेंज इन कंझ्युमर्स इन्कम देर आर थ्री डिफरंट टाइप्स ऑफ इन्कम इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड एखाद्या वस्तूचा डिग्री ऑफ रिस्पॉन्सिवनेस नेमका किती आहे त्याच्यानुसार इन्कम इलास्टिसिटीचे तीन वेगवेगळे टाईप्स आपल्याला आपल्याला इथे दिसून येतील इन पॉझिटिव्ह इन्कम इलास्टिसिटी नेगेटिव्ह इन्कम इलास्टिसिटी अँड झिरो इन्कम इलास्टिसिटी ओके पॉझिटिव्ह इन्कम इलास्टिसिटी नेगेटिव्ह इन्कम इलास्टिसिटी अँड झिरो इन्कम इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड नंबर वन पॉझिटिव्ह इन्कम इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड नॉर्मल गुड्स इन केस ऑफ नॉर्मल गुड्स द डिमांड फॉर कमोडिटी राइजस विथ राइज इन इनकम एंड फॉल्स विथ फॉल इन इनकम सर्वसामान्य वस्तूं बाबती का होता कि व्यक्ति च उत्पन्न वाड़ कि वस्तु की डिमांड देखी वाड़ते व्यक्ति च उत्पन्न कमी जाए कि वस्तु डिमांड सुधा का होता है कमी होता है सो देर आर डायरेक्ट रिनेशनशिप बिट्वीन कंज्युमर्स इनकम एंड डिमांड फॉर नॉर्मल गुड्स एस्पेशली डिमांड फॉर लग्जरीस एंड कम्फर्ट गुड्स इन्क्रीजेस विथ इन्क्रीज इन कंज्युमर्स इनकम एंड फॉल्स विथ फॉल इन कंज्युमर्स इनकम सिंस देर आर डायरेक्ट रिनेशनशिप्स द इनकम इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड विल बी पॉजिटिव हेयर इनकम इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड विल बी पॉजिटिव हेयर फॉर एक्जाम्पल एक एक्जाम्पल बोत अपन का होता सपोज वेन कंज्युमर्स इनकम वॉज रुपीज हंड्रेड फॉर एक्जाम्पल वेन कंज्युमर्स इनकम वॉज रुपीज हंड्रेड अ पर्सन डिमांडेड ट्वेंटी युनिट्स ऑफ दैट एक्स कमोडिटी ट्वेंटी युनिट्स ऑफ दैट एक्स कमोडिटी आर डिमांडेड when income is rupees 100 20 units of a commodity are demanded and when income is 200 that time he demanded 40 units of the same commodity the formula the formula anusar apan elasticity income elasticity of demand mojnar aut kay formula hai baka delta q divided by q into y divided by delta y delta q divided by q into y divided by delta y where delta q stands for change in quantity demanded what is the change in quantity demanded the change in quantity demanded is 20 demand madhe change zalela change kiti nahi 20 nahi kasa kadla apan 20 न्यू डिमांड माइनस ओरिजिनल डिमांड फोर्टी माइनस ट्वेंटी इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी सो द चेंज इन क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड इज ट्वेंटी हेयर एंड वॉट इज द ओरिजिनल क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड द ओरिजिनल क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड इज ट्वेंटी ओके ओरिजिनल क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड इज ट्वेंटी देन Why? Why stands for original income? What is the original income? Original income is hundred. A change in income, new income minus original income is equal to hundred. That is the change in income. Change in income is hundred. Here, the income elasticity of demand. is equal to 1 income elasticity of demand is equal to 1 here income elasticity of demand is positive income elasticity of demand is positive because of it is a normal good but in case of inferior quality goods 
what happens in case of low quality goods in case of giffin goods demand for them rises when there is a fall in income demand for them demand for inferior quality good rises when there is a fall in consumers income and demand for them falls when there is a rise in consumers income je halka darja cha vastu astat tya vastunchi demand apan kami karto jevha apla utpanna vadta कारण अपन क्या वस्तु सुपीरियर क्वाटी वस्तु सब्स्टिट्यूट कर टाकतो चांगल दर्जा वस्तु खरे करते व्यक्ति जस जस श्रीमंत हो जाए तस तस हल्क दर्जा वस्तु खरे करे कि चांगल दर्जा वस्तु खरे करेल ऑब्विस्ली श्रीमंत होत व्यक्ति हा चल दर्जा वस्तु खरे करते हल्क दर्जा वस्तु की डिमांड तो हलूह हलूह का करना है कमी करना है सो द डिमांड फॉर सच गुड्स विल फॉल ड्यू टू राइज इन कंज्यूमर्स income and therefore the income elasticity of demand will be negative in case of inferior quality goods low quality goods or in case of giffin goods that's a example for you at upon suppose the consumer <coughs> consumers income is 100 consumers income is 100 when his income is 100 he demanded 20 units of that commodity. His income changed now. His income increased from 100 rupees to 200. And now he demanded less of that commodity than before. He demanded only 10 units of that X commodity. So what is the income elasticity of demand? Here income elasticity of demand is equal to delta q divided by q into y divided by delta y here delta q what is delta q change in quantity demanded change in quantity demanded is what new demand that is 10 units minus original demand 20 units here delta q is minus 10 delta q is minus 10 minus 10 divided by original demand 20 into original income 100 change in income new income minus original income is equal to 100 so 100 divided by 100 I will income elasticity of demand is equal to minus 0 0.5 here income elasticity of demand is negative income elasticity of demand is negative why because of due to rise in consumers income demand for commodity fallen down therefore here is a negative income elasticity of demand tar he tumhala lakshat thevaycha hai ki inferior quality goods cha baptit low quality goods cha baptit demand hi income elasticity hi negative aste next one zero income elasticity of demand there are certain goods whose demand does not get affected due to the change in consumers income our demand for salt does not get affected due to change in our income our demand for necessary goods does not get affected due to change in our income either the income is high or it is low there is a certain quantity there is a certain amount of necessary goods which we have to buy at any cost it does not matter whether your income is rising or falling down our demand for food grains remain constant even after rise or fall in our income our demand for medicine remain constant even after change in our income either our income is falling or rising it does not affect the demand for necessary goods demand for medicines 
therefore the income elasticity of demand for necessary goods will be zero here okay so these are the three different types of income elasticity of demand now next type of elasticity of demand is cross elasticity of demand see what is cross elasticity of demand here we are taking into account the change in quantity demanded of commodity x due to change in price of y suppose x and y are substitute to each other ha don vastu ekmekanna substitute hai so change in price of y will affect the demand for x definitely examples apan bagitle le te che change in price of mirinda affects the demand for fanta change in price of fuel will affect the demand for car because of these are complementary goods okay so in case of cross elasticity of demand here we are taking into account the price of one commodity and demand of another commodity so what is mean by cross elasticity of demand it refers to a change in quantity demanded of one commodity due to a change in the price of other commodity एका वस्तूच्या डिमांड मध्ये झालेला चेंज कशामुळं ड्यू टू चेंज इन प्राइस ऑफ अदर कमोडिटी मे बी दीज गुड्स आर कॉम्प्लिमेंटरी टू इच अदर मे बी दे आर सब्स्टिट्यूट टू इच अदर सो वॉट इज द फॉर्म्युला ऑफ मेजरिंग क्रॉस इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड पर्सेंटेज चेंज इन क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड ऑफ ए and pers divided by percentage change in price of b commodity percentage change in quantity demanded of a commodity divided by percentage change in price of b commodity a is the original commodity and b is other commodity maybe these are substitute or complementary symbolically cross elasticity of demand is equal to percentage change in quantity demanded of a divided by percentage change in price of b okay same formula dile ya thikani multiplication madhe is direct baguyat apan percentage sorry delta q a delta q a means change in quantity demanded of a commodity divided by original quantity demanded of a commodity multiplied by price original price of b commodity divided by change in price of b commodity okay hcha sudha examples aplyala ya thikani gheta etil see in case of substitute goods for example tea and coffee there will be positive cross elasticity of demand in case of complementary goods for example tea sugar milk car and fuel there will be negative cross elasticity of demand and in case of non related goods the demand will be cross elasticity of demand will be zero ek example bagiyat apan yacha positive elasticity of demand sir suppose x and y are substitute to each other x and y are substitute to each other x mannya chevji apan tela manuyat y manuyat apan a ani b manuyat apan tela okay suppose the price of a commodity was rupees 100 when the price of a commodity was rupees 100 the demand quantity demanded of b commodity sorry quantity demanded of b commodity 
was 20 units. Now there is a rise in price of A commodity. The price of A commodity increased from 100 to 200 rupees. Now the demand for B commodity also increased from 20 units to 40 units. Kazala sir, Karan A ata mahag zali ani B techai tulne madhe kai baata lagli, swastha baata lagli. Because of these are substitute, either you will go with A or B commodity. Doni pe ki ekha vastu cha tumi consumption karana raha. So definitely people will prefer to buy cheaper commodity. So the demand for B commodity increased here. Cross elasticity of demand is equal to delta Q A sorry upon B C demand must happen B C cross elasticity must happen delta Q B delta Q B divided by Q B into P A divided by delta P A here delta Q B means change in quantity demanded new quantity demanded is 40 minus original quantity demanded is 20. So, the change in quantity demanded of B is 20 20 divided by original quantity demanded of B is 20 into original price of A 100 change in price of A 100. So, the cross elasticity of demand is here 1 it means it is a positive cross elasticity of demand, but in case of complementary goods it will be negative and in case of non related goods it will be 0 because of in case of non related goods change in price of one commodity does not affect the demand for another commodity. For example, a change in price of mobile phone will never affect the demand for fans, air coolers, air conditioners, television sets. So, here the cross elasticity will be 0 because of these are non related neither they are complementary nor they are substitute to each other. Therefore, the cross elasticity of demand will be 0 here. Okay. So, these are the three different types of cross elasticity of demand positive cross elasticity of demand negative cross elasticity of demand and zero cross elasticity of demand. So, that is all from the cross elasticity of demand and income elasticity of demand in this video price elasticity of demand and its types. So, normally price elasticity of demand means what the extent to which quantity demanded of a commodity changes due to the change in its price other things remaining constant. Here we are assuming that all other factors determining demand are remaining constant and only the price changes. So, how much the demand will respond to the change in price of a commodity. In other words, we can also say that price elasticity of demand is the degree of responsiveness. What is mean by price elasticity of demand? It is the degree of responsiveness of quantity demanded of a commodity to the change in its price other things remaining constant. In the words of Dr. Alfred Marshall, price elasticity of demand is a ratio. What is price elasticity, elasticity of demand? It is a ratio of proportionate change in the quantity demanded of a commodity to a given proportionate change in its price. 
symbolically elasticity of demand price elasticity of demand is equal to percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price okay its formula elasticity of demand is equal to change in quantity demanded divided by original demand into original price divided by change in price okay so this is the concept of price elasticity of demand there are almost five types of price elasticity of demand how many types five types perfectly elastic demand perfectly inelastic demand unitary elastic demand relatively elastic demand and relatively in elastic demand these are the five important types of price elasticity of demand that we are going to learn in this video i hope that you have understood betterly the concept of price elasticity of demand and its formula now we are going to discuss the types of price elasticity of demand kai kai types ahet tyache apan ek ek types tyacha apan ata ya thikani baguyat see the first type of price elasticity of demand is perfectly elastic demand this is also called as a this is also known as a infinitely elastic demand infinitely elastic demand see <coughs> demand is said to be perfectly elastic demand is said to be perfectly elastic when a slight or a zero change in the price brings about an infinite change infinite change in the quantity demanded of that commodity demand is said to be perfectly elastic when quantity demanded of a commodity changes infinitely due to the slight change in its price or zero change in its price zero change in its price means there is no change in price of a commodity but still the demand is changed infinitely demand is changed by a very larger extent even though there is a no change in its price or a very smaller change in price is there a very slight change in price is there that happens in case of gold a very smaller change in price causes a big change in quantity demanded of gold थोडीशी देखील किंमत कमी झाली गोल्डची तर त्याच्या डिमांडमुळे मोठ्या प्रमाणात चेंजेस होतात मोठ्या प्रमाणात त्याची डिमांड काय होत असते वाढत असते हे आर द इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड प्राईस इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड विल बी इन्फायनिट दे आर फोर इट इज नोन ॲज अ इन्फायनिट ऑर परफेक्टली इलास्टिक डिमांड फॉर एक्झाम्पल सपोज अ टेन पर्सेंट फॉल इन प्राईस may lead to an infinite rise in demand uh, 10% fall in price resulted infinite change in quantity demanded of a commodity here the numerical value of price elasticity of demand will be infinite this is the sign of infinite okay tar he infinite cha sign tumhi lakshat theva 
इन्फाइनेट साइन का दर्शवता है अपने परफेक्टली इलास्टिक डिमांड here the degree of responsiveness of quantity demanded of a commodity is very big it is very large very highly demand is responding to the change in price of a commodity ek example bagiyat apan tyacha baga apan formula kay bagitla hai <coughs> price elasticity of demand cha price elasticity of demand is equal to change in quantity demanded divided by ओरिजिनल क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड इनटू ओरिजिनल प्राइस डिवाइडेड बाय चेंज इन प्राइस फॉर एग्जांपल सपोज द प्राइस ऑफ एक्स कमोडिटी इज रुपीज हंड्रेड एंड क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड इज ट्वेंटी क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड ऑफ अ कमोडिटी इज ट्वेंटी एट रुपीज हंड्रेड there is a no change in its price the price is the same but the quantity demanded now is 50 quantity demanded is now 50 so what will happen here elasticity of demand is equal to delta q delta q means change in demand change in demand means origin new demand minus original demand new demand is 50 units original demand is 20 units so the change in demand is 30 units here delta q is 30 original demand original demand is 20 into price <coughs> original price is 100 and change in price change in price means new price Minus original price is equal to zero. Here, hundred divided by zero. Elasticity of demand is equal to infinite. Why it is infinite? Zero ne konte hi sankela apan bhag gatla tar aplala minara uttar he kaiyasta infinite asta. Manun यठिका इनकम सॉरी प्राइस इलास्टिटी ऑफ डिमांड ही का इन्फाइनिट आना है ये अपन परफेक्टली इलास्टिक डिमांड अंतो ओके सो डिमांड इज सेड टू बी परफेक्टली इलास्टिक व्हेन अ स्लाइट चेंज इन प्राइस और नो चेंज इन प्राइस ब्रिंग ब्रिंग अबाउट वेरी larger change in quantity demanded of a commodity it is called perfectly elastic demand and what about the numerical value of perfectly elastic demand it is infinite perfectly elastic demand so as a numerical value hai to kya hai infinite hai in case of perfectly elastic demand the demand curve will be horizontal straight line as shown in this graph you can see the dd is the horizontal straight line demand curve it is a horizontal straight line demand curve on x axis quantity demanded is measured on y axis price is measured and op is the original price and at op price there are different quantity demanded here can be shown oq1 oq2 oq3 so here you can see that at the same price there is no change in price but quantity demanded is a continuously changing from q1 to q2 from q2 to q3 so we are getting these points when these points are joined together by the straight line we will get the horizontal straight line demand curve as shown in this graph so this is the perfectly elastic demand curve which is horizontal straight line parallel to which axis parallel to the x axis so these are the three things which you will have to keep in your mind its definition numerical value and its graph okay definition when 
a slight change or no change in price of a commodity brings about very large change in quantity demanded of a commodity that is called perfectly elastic demand. The numerical value of perfectly elastic demand is infinite and the perfectly elastic demand curve is horizontal straight line parallel to x axis as shown in this graph. Now, the next type of price elasticity of demand is perfectly inelastic demand. This is opposite concept of perfectly elastic demand, perfectly inelastic demand. Kaya perfectly inelastic demand? perfectly elastic made. There were no change in price, but the demand was changing. Either it was rising up or falling down at the same price. Now, the demand is remaining constant even after rise or fall in its price. Here in case of perfectly inelastic demand. See, here you can see that perfectly inelastic demand means when a percentage change in price has no effect on the quantity demanded of a commodity, it is called perfectly inelastic demand. Means, if demand is remaining constant even after rise or fall in its price, that time it is called perfectly inelastic demand. Means, price is changing, but demand is remaining constant when change in price does not affect the quantity demanded of a commodity, it is called perfectly inelastic demand. This happens in case of salt, in case of milk, because these are the goods which are demanded in same amount, in same quantity, even after rise or fall in its price due to fall in its price, we does not demand more of it and due to rise in its price, we cannot demand less of it because of these are the necessary goods. A necessary goods are the apply ek vishishta pramana hai, te wada apan te chikharedi karatas asto. For example, example dilaya tekani, a 20 percent fall in price will have no effect on quantity demanded. The percentage change in price is 20, but change in quantity demanded is 0. Here, the price elasticity of demand is equal to 0. It means 0 price elasticity of demand. The numerical value of perfectly inelastic demand is 0. Okay. <coughs> Now, what about the perfectly inelastic demand curve? The perfectly inelastic, inelastic demand curve will be vertical straight line as shown in this graph. Here you can see DD is the vertical straight line demand curve which is parallel to y axis. You can see that at OP price, OP is the original price at which OQ is the quantity demanded. When price fallen from P to P2, same is the quantity demanded that is OQ. When price increased from P to P1, quantity demanded is still same that is OQ when all these points are joined together with a straight line, you will get the vertical straight line which is called perfectly inelastic demand curve. This is the perfectly inelastic demand curve. DD is the perfectly inelastic demand curve. Its numerical value is 0. So, these are the some things you which you will have to keep in your 
mind about perfectly inelastic demand. Its definition. Definition pratyekda sangto. When a change in price of a commodity doesn't affect its quantity demanded, it is called perfectly inelastic demand curve. In case of salt, in case of milk, demand is perfectly inelastic. Numerical value of perfectly inelastic demand is zero, and the demand curve will be vertical straight line as shown in this graph, parallel to. y axis next unitary elastic demand unitary elastic demand the next type of price elasticity of demand is unitary elastic demand here what is mean by unitary elastic demand see when percentage change in price leads to a proportionate change in quantity demanded then demand is said to be unitary elastic in simple words when percentage change in quantity demanded when percentage change in quantity demanded of a commodity is equal to the percentage change in price of that commodity when both are same that is called unitary elastic demand for example suppose a 10% change in price of x commodity caused 10% change in its quantity demanded here percentage change in demand and percentage change in price are same therefore the price elasticity of demand is equal to 1 and therefore it is called unitary elastic demand unitary elastic demand or unit elastic demand so numerical value of unit elastic demand is 1 ya example madhe tumhi pahu shakta a 50% fall in price caused 50% rise in quantity demanded 50 divided by 50 is equal to 1 here elasticity of demand is equal to 1 so this is the numerical value what about the unitary elastic demand curve the unitary elastic demand curve will slope downward from left to right this the slope of the demand curve the slope of the demand curve is a rectangular hyperbola rectangular hyperbola so you can see in this graph x axis showing us quantity demanded of x commodity and y axis showing us price of x commodity dd is the rectangular hyperbola demand curve which is showing that a change in price is exactly equal to the change in quantity demanded a proportionate change in price is exactly equal to the proportionate change in quantity demanded so this is the unitary elastic demand okay h examples far rarely sapadta ta aplyala h examples tech examples aplyala sangta yenar nahi hai ki nemka kontya vastuncha baptit unit elastic demand aste okay so these are the things which you will have to keep in your mind its definition its numerical value and its curve definition par ekda sangto when percentage change in quantity demanded is exactly equal to the percentage change in its price it is called unitary elastic demand the numerical value of unitary elastic demand is 1 and the unitary elastic demand curve 
is a rectangular hyperbola. The slope of the demand curve is a rectangular hyperbola. So, this is the unitary elastic demand. Now, we are going to see next type of price elasticity of demand that is relatively elastic demand relatively elastic demand relatively elastic demand kema manaycha demand is said to be relatively elastic when percentage change in price leads to more than proportionate change in quantity demanded percentage change in price leads to more than proportionate change in quantity demanded the demand is said to be relatively elastic in simple words demand is said to be relatively elastic when percentage change in quantity demanded is greater than percentage change in its price here the percentage change a certain percentage change in price causing more than proportionate change in quantity demanded for example suppose there is a 10% change in price of a commodity which caused 20% change in quantity demanded of a commodity kimti madhe 10% change zale mule demand madhe 20% change hot asel tar yala manaycha apan relatively elastic or it can be called more elastic it can be only called elastic demand asa sudha manta yeil aplyala this happens in case of luxurious and comfort goods in case of luxurious and comfort goods the demand is relatively elastic a smaller change in their price causes a big change in their demand kimti thode dekhil kami jala tar luxurious and comfort goods la asnare demand mothya pramanat vadte manun yala matla apan relatively elastic demand kai numerical value elasticity of demand is equal to percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in its price ka yanar hai percentage change in demand 20 percentage change in price 10 is equal to 2 here elasticity of demand is greater than 1 the numerical value is always greater than 1 मोर इलास्टिक डिमांड कि रिलेटिवली इलास्टिक डिमांड या बाबती न्यूमेरिकल वैल्यू हा एक पेक्षा कभी ही कसा तो जास्त सो so, हेयर यू कैन सी द इलास्टिटी ऑफ डिमांड इज ग्रेटर दैन वन डेफिनेशन पर एक लक्ष्य ठेवा डिमांड इज सेड टू बी रिलेटिवली इलास्टिक वेन percentage change in quantity demanded is greater than percentage change in its price percentage change in quantity demanded is greater than percentage change in its price that is said to be relatively elastic demand and what about numerical value the numerical value or coefficient of the relatively elastic demand is always greater than 1 and what about the demand curve demand curve has a flatter slope as shown in this graph this is the flatter demand curve sloping downwards from left to right it is showing us a smaller change in price smaller change in price but a larger change in quantity demanded okay kimtit zalela badal kami hai pan to demand madhe zalela change jast hai so the demand curve will be flatter like this this is the flat demand curve the numerical value is greater than 1 
and examples luxurious and comfort goods have relatively elastic demand so these are the four things which you have to keep in your mind which are the four things definition its numerical value examples and curve definition par ekda sangto when a percentage change in quantity demanded is greater than percentage change in its price it is called relatively elastic demand numerical value of relatively elastic demand is always greater than 1 examples luxury and comfort goods like washing machine refrigerator television sets these have relatively elastic demand and what about demand curve the demand curve is flatter like this okay now the last type of price elasticity of demand is what relatively in elastic demand relatively in elastic demand demand is relatively in elastic demand is relatively in elastic when a percentage change in price leads to less than proportionate change in quantity demanded in simple words when percentage change in quantity demanded is less than percentage change in its price symbolically percentage change in quantity demanded is less than percentage change in its price there is said to be relatively in elastic demand for example suppose a uh, 10% change in price caused only 5% change in quantity demanded so what will happen elasticity of demand is equal to percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price what is the percentage change in quantity demanded 5 and what is the percentage change in price 10 here elasticity of demand is 0.5 it means elasticity of demand is less than 1 numerical value or coefficient of relatively in elastic demand will be always less than one the same is explained in this example 50% fall in price caused a 25% rise in quantity demanded 25 divided by 50 is equal to 0.5 coefficient is less than one what about demand curve the demand curve will be steeper demand curve will be steeper as shown in this graph dd is the steeper demand curve it is the steeper demand curve see here the change in price is greater than the change in quantity demanded a very small change in quantity demanded is shown due to the change in price kimtit zalela badal motha hai ani demand madhe zalela badal chhota hai therefore and the demand is said to be relatively inelastic <coughs> example se che necessary goods like food grains medicines are having relatively in elastic demand their demand doesn't get affected by a larger extent due to the change in their price kimti madhe jhalela badla mule tyancha demand varti far motha parinam hot nahi there is a particular amount of these goods which we have to buy at any cost either the prices are rising or falling down so the demand for necessary goods will be relatively in elastic so kay kay lakshat thevaycha tumhala ithe examples graph coefficient and definition definition kay when percentage change in demand is less than percentage change in price that is said to be relatively inelastic demand relatively inelastic demand la apan less elastic demand asa sudha manu shakto 